In this video, we'll take a look at the Top Audiences Report feature. You'll see how you can easily get insights into each audience performance, compare audiences, customize your reports so it serves the needs of your team members and clients, and in a matter of minutes, create new audience based on the best performance. To start, go to the Top Audiences section on the left side menu and click the button Create Report. Give your report a name and select the ad account you want to pull the data from. Now let's add some filters to get more specific results. I want to see audiences from ad sets that contain the word carousel in their name. And check how they were performing in the last 30 days in comparison to the previous period. This type of report will be valuable for my team so we all could get an overview of how the changes we made last month impacted the results. I will select the following metrics. Website purchases, cost per website purchase, website purchase ROAS, spend, and CPM. You can select up to 10 metrics here. Also, there is an option to create your own custom metric, like this. One more useful setting here is create new set. Give your set a specific name, and then all the selected metrics will be stored there, so you won't need to select them every time one by one. Instead, just use the set with these metrics. And here are some advanced settings you can customize. Attribution window. I will leave it as a default ad set attribution window. In case your ad sets are using different attribution windows, I would suggest unchecking it. Otherwise, you might see zero values in the report. But nothing to worry, you can always come back and play around with the setup. Ignore parameters is another great function, which allows you to select parameters that you don't want to consider in the report. For example, if you select age, audiences with different age settings will be considered identical if all other parameters match. I will leave it blank for now. Let's click the Create and wait for the report to be generated. It might take a little bit of time, depending on how many audiences match the filters you selected earlier. Great, now when you have all the audiences and metrics in front of you, let's see how you can leverage this information. First of all, by clicking on the audience name, you will see the audience details and in the next step, the ad sets where the audience is used. The ad set IDs are clickable and will take you straight to the business manager. For each selected metric, there is an option to add a filter. For example, let's add a spend filter to see only audiences that were spending, like this. And web per website purchases is greater than zero. You can apply a separate filter for each metric, depending on the threshold values you have for your business, and get more granular results. If you're curious to see why two audiences' performance varies, you can select them and click the button Compare Audiences. In a new window, you'll see a table with the settings for each of the audiences, so you could actually investigate the differences side by side. One of the coolest features of the report is an option to create a new audience. Let's create a new audience that combines these two. I will select them and click this button, Create Audience. The new audience will appear in the Assets section, Audiences menu, and it will be available for future campaigns. Now you would probably want to share these insights with colleagues, and here is the Share button with two options, copy a public link or share with the team. The latter will allow your teammates to view this report when they log in to their RevealBot accounts. In case you prefer to work with this information before sending it out, you can download the report in CSV format, as well as share a link to the CSV file with the report. With the Top Audiences Report feature, 
Just a single report can help you understand if you are putting your efforts and budget to the right channel, discover more targeting opportunities, and deliver even better results to your clients. Be sure to check it out, and we'll see you in the next video.